I want to thank the President of South Korea, President Moon, for being here. We had a great afternoon yesterday. We had a fantastic dinner at the White House, accomplished a lot having to do with our thoughts on North Korea and very much our thoughts on trade. Uh, we are renegotiating a trade deal right now as we speak with South Korea. And uh, hopefully it will be an equitable deal. It will be a fair deal to both parties. Uh, it's been a rough deal for the United States, but I think that it will uh, be much different and it will be good for both parties. So uh, we're in the process of doing that. We're also in the process of discussing our, frankly, many options, and we have many options, with respect to North Korea. Thank you very much. President? The President will speak. I would like to thank President Trump once again for inviting me to the White House and for his warm welcome. Uh, when, I was, uh, inaugurate, when, I, when I won the election last month, President Trump was the first among all foreign leaders to call me to congratulate me. Uh, uh, I believe uh, that was to reconfirm the strength of the Korea-U.S. alliance and also uh, President Trump's uh, warm uh, message to the Korean people who had been suffering through political turmoil. Uh, Last night uh, at the dinner with President Trump, we discussed uh, various issues uh, through diverse uh, scope uh, and very honest uh, discussions on issues to include uh, the North Korean nuclear issue and other issues of mutual interest. It was a great opportunity for us uh, to further our, the trust and friendship between me and President Trump. It was also an opportunity for us to reconfirm the fact that the United States and Korea are walking together on the same path towards a great alliance. And so I hope that through this summit meeting today, uh, I hope that our uh, relationship can further develop into a more meaningful and fruitful relationship. Thank you very much. What many people don't know is that South Korea is a major trading partner with the United States, and we want something that's going to be good for the American worker. And I think we'll be able to do that today, and I think we'll be able to do many other things. So the relationship is very, very strong, and our personal relationship with President Moon our personal relationship is very, very good. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. We have many of our great members, our Vice President, Secretary of State, Secretary of Defense, we have our, uh, some of our really wonderful leaders here, and you have your leaders with you and your representatives. And we're going to be discussing two things, mostly. And number one would be North Korea. And we pretty much discussed that last night at length. I think we have a very, very strong, solid plan. And number two is going to be, of course, trade because the trade deal is up and we want to make a deal that's fair for the United States and fair for South Korea.
so we'll start doing that. Uh, Gary Cohn is here. Wilbur Ross is here. And I think that's a very important thing. And, uh, Wilbur, perhaps you'd like to say a few things about trade right now. And we can probably leave the media because trades are very important for a little while. But perhaps you'd say a few words about trade and what we're looking to do. Yes, sir. The trade imbalance with South Korea has doubled since the Corus Treaty was put into effect. And the largest single component of that is automotive uh, trade. That's an absolute majority of it. Um, there are a lot of non-tariff trade barriers to U.S. exports. Only 25,000 cars per big three manufacturer are allowed in based on U.S. standards. Anything above that needs to be on Korean standards. So that kind of rulemaking affects quite a few industries and really restricts the access that U.S. companies have to the Korean market. We have a separate problem with oil field tubular goods and other steel products. There is no domestic market for oil field tubular goods in Korea. So everything they make is for export, and we've had recent trade cases demonstrating that a lot of that is dumped Chinese steel coming as hot rolled coil and then coming back to the U.S. as oil field tubular goods. So there are a lot of very specific <coughs> problems, and I think the way to address it is to deal product by product with what we can do to change the export side and what we can do to reduce the bad import side. All right, thank you very much. You could stay for this also. Uh, perhaps Gary Cohn could say a few words also about trade. Uh, yes, thank you, Mr. President. Um, uh, as, as, as you know, much of our biggest problem on trade has to do with our economic relationship with China. Um, and uh, we, we have maintained a very large trade deficit with China, uh, and it continues to grow. Uh, as Wilbur said, China has many predatory practices uh, involved in the, in the way they deal with us, with intellectual property um, and trade barriers for us. Um, we're forced to transfer technology into China, forced to have joint ventures in China. We have tariffs and non-tariff barriers. Um, unable to own companies in China as well, and uh, we're dealing with all their policies. At some point, we'd be interested to hear how you're dealing with the Chinese policies and how you could help us in dealing with Chinese policies. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, the fact is that the United States has trade deficits with many, many countries, and we cannot allow that to continue. And we'll start with South Korea right now, but we cannot allow that to continue. This is really uh, a statement that I make about all trade. For many, many years, the United States has suffered through massive trade deficits. That's why we have $20 trillion in debt. So we'll be changing that. The good news is we make the great products, and uh, I appreciate very much uh, the giving — South Korea is giving very, very big orders to the United States for, as you know, for military. They're buying many F-35 fighter jets from Lockheed. Uh, they're buying other military equipment at a level that they've never reached before, so that's good. Uh, also, I understand you're dealing with Alaska, great state, on natural gas and other parts of the United States. We have a lot of natural gas, so uh, we love that you're going to do that. And things like that will bring down the trade deficit substantially. That's what we like, and we appreciate it very much. Uh, Mr. President, would you like to say something before the media leaves? Yeah, President. The Bango, the two of us, some of us, in Korean language, we are already shooting at each other. Ah, we are always looking for ways to cooperate with South Korea. We are looking for ways to cooperate with South Korea. We are looking for ways to cooperate with South Korea. We are looking for ways to cooperate with South Korea. We are looking for ways to cooperate with South Korea. We are looking for ways to cooperate with South Korea. We are looking for ways to cooperate with 시청해 나갈 것이고 그것을 위해서 국가 사이에 실무직인 비리를 하도록 하겠습니다. 만약에 조금 더 자세한 설명을 하신다면 우리 정책 실장께서 설명을 할수 있을 것이라고 생각합니다. 네.
Okay, we can do that. And I'm sure that everybody understood that answer, <laughs> I hope. Um, but it was a very good answer. Thank you all very much.